Hi guys, here we've got a Vax Blade 4 cordless vacuum. I'll show you here. It's about a year old. That's the actual mold head there. Comes with a spare battery. That's the battery. That's one of the batteries there charging. And you've got the battery pack on the back there. Now, the problem is this unit's not been used in a while, had it about a year. Uh, someone's used it and just chopped it to the one side. See all the dust inside. Also, let me just show you here. This is the motor head. See, it's full of hair and string. And have a look at that today. First thing we're going to do is take the extension off and there's rubbish stuck inside. This, the bin is completely full. So, first thing I'm going to do, do is remove the battery as I'm going to dismantle the unit once I've got rid of this dust inside. Get close up here. See, it's just full of dirt and dust in this condition. It stinks. So, you can simply just get rid of all the just emptying the bin, which I've done. But let me just show you here. Even though I've tipped all the rubbish out, there's still some bits of paper stuck in it. So I'm going to use this pen to fish it out. As you can see there. And you can see all the dust there. That's come out of the uh, bin. Um, I didn't actually record it, but um, I've dismantled the cyclone units. And what I'm going to do is just put it in a bucket of bleach to soak along with all the rubbers, seals, and what's not. And you can see them in the bucket here. And um, just gonna give it a lot of clean. And uh, there's a pollen filter, which I'm going to place in the washing machine on a quick wash, low temperature, while that's washing. Um, I'll just show you the motor head that's also blocked with dust so first thing we're going to do is remove the brush and you can use, use a coin to undo the brush head just undo this cover here and the whole thing should slide out As you can see here, a bit stiff because of all the string and hair around it. And uh, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors, sharp scissors, just to cut the uh, string and hair. the uh, brush roller try not to cut my fingers in the process here you can see me just using the scissors to um, cut through and 
and then once I've got that off it's just a matter of peeling all this hair and um, string off of the uh, roller it's a matter of unraveling it all you can see me doing here Just getting it off in chunks. And then you can see I've got most of it off. So that, that, that's clean, I'll just chuck that in the washing machine also. And put it on a 30 degree wash, um, quick wash. I usually put a bit of bleaching with the soap. So this is a brush head, inside it the motor head, um, I'm just giving it a clean inside the hose, a lot of dust inside there, a lot of dirt, just use a little brush to clean it. Okay so what I've done, I've washed all of the um, bin and the cyclone, I'm just chucking the bits down here to dry. These are all the parts from the um, bin and the cyclone. And now that they're, they're nice and dry, next day, just going to reassemble the unit. The first thing I've got to do is put the seal back in here for the uh, bin opener. Got a rubber seal. I did actually film, well, did actually film this panel in it, but it wasn't recording. So you just have to do the reverse of me assembling it here. So just putting the lid back on. Which covers the um, filter. See me just putting the uh, gasket back on for the cyclone. And it's just a matter of uh, putting this section together. Reverse of when I uh, dismantled it. With this section, there's a notch, it's got a little grey notch there. That ties it with a notch on this filter. Just a matter of lining it up. Where you can see there, and that's all lined up. So, just in case, I put those three screws back in, which I removed prior. Let me show you there. That's how far it's got so far. Get close up, and then it's just a matter of putting this seal back in this little recess here along the filter. See there that, that seals on, and then you got this uh, seal at the bottom also of the filter which I'm putting on here. A bit fiddly, but just got to make sure it's seated correctly. There you can see that's fully assembled. The actual filter or cyclone. So it's just a matter of reinserting it back into the cylinder or the bin. And that just push it down like so. And then this filter before, got it nice and clean now. Just pops in the top here. And then 
it's just a matter of closing the lid. And that's that unit completely assembled now and cleaned. I'll show you there. So, go back to the motor housing. I'll just give it a wipe over. This section here was uh, pretty dusty. So I'll just get it wipe over with some uh, wet wipes. And clean the whole unit with some wet wipes, got rid of all the dust. So to reassemble, there's a little notch. So it's just this notch here. Let's get a close up that notch there. Slots into this blue recess here. Like so. Then it just clicks down. And you had that click down there. So that's that's in. So we go back to the mold head. We've also cleaned the brushes. Show you there, get you close up. Nice and clean and clear now. And just show you the actual motor itself. I've given that clean also. See, it's nice and clean inside the air. It was full of dust before. I'm going to show you this section here. The hose I've cleaned it also. So it's just a matter of pushing the brush back into its housing. Just push it straight in. And that's in there. And then it's just a matter of using a coin to lock it back in place. That's in. Let's give it close up. See there, it's locked in. And show you, it's nice and clean there. So, just pop the battery back on the back. It's fully charged. And then the holes I've also cleaned that. Just push the big damp glass through to get it nice and clean. And here you can see I'm just reassembling the units. And I'll just switch it on to give you a demo. And you see the bush spinning there. The light on it. I'll just show you the other side. That's the unit fully clean there. That's to clean it because it was a uh, lot of dust in it. It was uh, smelly. So, pretty much that concludes. It's full unit clean there. So, with that, thanks for watching once again. And uh, please subscribe.